Yeah, they're going to be a lot of sun glare delays. That's oh, for yeah, sure. that's true. <laughs> Got some sunshine coming through later on today. But taking a look right now, temperatures are in the 40s. If you're in White Plains, 40. Bridgeport 30, Montgomery 51, New York City. So we'll eventually see those temperatures in the city maybe bottom out in the upper 40s. By this afternoon, we're in the upper 50s, low to mid, even upper 60s. Some areas will get closer to 70. It looks like plenty of sunshine. More of that onshore flow, though, if you're along the south shore of Long Island or even southern Connecticut, you'll notice a little bit of a difference. Well, a lot of bit of a difference. I mean, some areas won't get out of the 50s or 60s later on um, this afternoon, depending on where you are. Overnight temperatures, 40s, around 50 New York City. And here's a look at your satellite and radar again. It's nice and dry, no umbrella needed. There is a very small chance of a spot shower to our north. This area of low pressure has just kind of been hanging around there, doesn't want to move, but it's moved far enough where it's allowed those winds to relax, but it's also allowing for that clockwise flow to ensue, we're just going to pay close attention to the movement there. This warm front, we're in the warm sector. This is our next system. That's going to supply us with more in the way of rain. The question is, when will that happen? Right now, this is what I'm talking about. We've been paying close attention to these winds, mainly off of the ocean waters. So places like Long Island, temperatures may struggle a little bit, but it'll start to shift gears, becoming more southerly. So if you notice the wind particles, more of a southwest breeze at times. So interior sections may actually get warmer, as well as New Jersey. A few spot showers later on tonight. And then as we head into Thursday, mainly dry, those clouds start to build and a few showers to go along with that on Friday. Not a washout, not even close. Some areas will remain dry. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. That's where we'll leave it for 70 of the year. It looks like tomorrow and close to it as we head into Friday cooler for the weekend in time for St. Patrick's Day. The chill is on for the first day of spring. Julie.